Ache, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yashallah, Kohlo Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rachabash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water to all the Akiyu and Akwa, out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, to the best of their ability, Jachanan Awaf. Just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um, you know, just wanted to just touch on. I'm driving right now, so I'll basically be roughly paraphrasing scriptures. Um, but just wanted to touch on, um, where the scriptures talks about not, you know, basically throwing his word among swine and dogs, man. You know? Where scripture talks about they'll turn and rend you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give not that which is holy to the you know you know to the the, the hogs, man. The damn oink oink, the pigs, man. You see? Because I was having a um, conversation with my neighbor last night and I was just, you know, sitting out enjoying myself, you know, drinking a little yum yum, you know. And you know, he you know, he always comes up and just get to talking about stuff, you know. And, you know, I, I oblige him, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, normally, you know, I, I done taught, you know, taught him about the scriptures a few times. Yeah, generally, that's my conversation with him, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he was going all off into, you know, um, you know, how everybody don't think like how I think. And, you know, I'm like, yeah, you're right, you know. I'm just trying to let you know, you know, the scriptures. You know, he, he going off into Jesus Christ and all this crap. I'm just explaining to him, like, bro, there's no letter J in Hebrew. There's no letter E, there's no letter O, no letter U, no letter V. And see, when you, you know, a lot of the times, what what I'm starting to notice is a lot of Jake, they, 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 they try and act as if you're acting like you know it all. No, I don't know it all. I'm just bringing the scriptures out to you trying to save your life, man. Because the scriptures, A to A, that, that's the only way that we can be saved. You know, I'm, I'm telling him the true name of the Father, the true name of the Son. But I've done that with him over and over and over again. It's not like... This is our first conversation, you know, we, you know, the conversation generally starts off about something simple and, you know, when we're into this word, like how we are, you know, especially when you're into it and you're teaching, I mean, it generally, that's all that comes out. And, and a matter of fact, the scriptures actually says, um, if any man speak, let him speak, let it be the oracles of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And we're so, you know, in, you know, so drenched by this word. That, that's all that comes out of us and that's the reason why a lot of people don't really want to be around us in a sense because they don't want to, their deeds to be called out so to speak they don't want to be you know um called out or they don't want their you know their, their their darkness to be shown so to speak you know so you know i'm just kicking it with him and and and, and i noticed that he remembers certain things because he mentioned to me that um you know that when things get really, really bad, he actually said that, he, you know, he was <laughs> he was coming to my house with the gun. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, because he remembered something that I said about things are going to get so bad that it's going to be neighbors are going to be running up on neighbors. You know what I'm saying? Because of the lack of bread. And he remembered that and he mentioned it. So I know he's he's listening. But when the straight came down to it, you know, he was trying to compare me to, um, he said it a few times. Um, You know, the, I'm not sure what area you may live in. But, you know, they got these, I'm not sure if they're Mennonites or if they're, um, damn, um, Mormons or whatever the hell they are. But they ride the bikes through the neighborhood. And generally, it'll be two white guys. You know, they be having a little bike helmets on, you know, with the white shirt and the black slacks. You know, and they be riding through the neighborhood trying to get Jake to, um, fall for that white Jesus crap. And, um, you know, he kept comparing me to him like, oh, you, you know compare me to them i'm like well all right well no nah, no nah, you know what i'm saying hey, you know don't 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 compare me to to, to them guys <laughs> because you know i got a lot more love for you than they do i understand what they got going on you know what i'm saying they're not thinking about you from a, a spiritual standpoint they don't care about you from that aspect they just want to basically get you into their their little organization and get you to pay some money out you know what i'm saying and that's generally what goes down with these churches man um they're, they're not concerned with um how you're doing you know what i'm saying oh, it's a lot yeah i kind of missed my little point here missed my turn but anyway 
like I said, he kept comparing me to them, and I'm just like, you know what? All right, well, um, you know, I'm going back and forth with him with the scriptures, and he just, you know, he, well, everybody don't. I'm like, well, you know, I, I straight told him straight up, you know what I'm saying? I said, well, you know, I stick to the scriptures. I'm, you know, I'm gonna always stick to the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna come off, you know, the top of the head and all this other stuff because he was like, he, he don't do no wrong. He said he's not a sinner. He he never sinned basically. I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, well, I know for a fact now. I'm I'm actually talking to a complete fool, you know. And that's the way that you have to, you know, kind of look at some of this stuff. You got to take it that way. You know, you don't you don't take it offensively. But I told him straight up. I said, well, you know, I'm, I'm sticking with the scriptures. The scripture says talk not much with a fool and, um, you know, have a good night. And that's just how I ended the conversation. I know it might have offended him, but, you know, the, the word is offensive in, in a lot of ways, you know, because Jake don't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it wasn't like I ran up on him with no conversation. He came and interrupted me because I was just sitting there, you know, enjoying my wine and just chilling, you know. It's always some talk of his baby mama and all this, you know, because I told him even once before that, um, that, you know, the Lord, man, he'll send a wicked woman to you. If you're a wicked nigga, he'll send a wicked woman to you. And he's constantly, constantly, you know, trying to talk to me about his baby moms and how messed up she is and what she be doing and all this other stuff. I mean, it's got to the point where I just kind of just, uh-huh, uh-huh, and kind of chalk it up as a... I don't want to talk to you about that. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to listen. You're not going to listen. You're, 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 you know, I'm giving you sound doctrine. I'm giving you sound word as to um, what to do and what to be like. But you don't want to listen. So, I mean, it is what it is on that. But, you know, I know he was probably a little, maybe he had gotten a little, he was like, all right, well, yeah, all right, well, have a good night. All right, yep, I'm going to have a good night. I was enjoying myself before you walked up on me, you know, spewing all kinds of craziness. But, you know. The last time I had a conversation with him, like, you know, he was, well, not the last time, but, you know, I was just like, I, I can't even really deal with you, bro, You, because he was talking about abortion, you know, how he had, you know, gave his, you know, chick money to go and kill the seed, and he was proud of it. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, you know, so that kind of, I kind of knew from that point, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I mean, you just, a, I understand, you know, you, you just a nigga doing nigga stuff, but you don't even want to deal with jake man i had to just be honest about it i don't even you know my uncles my dad my you know just generally i don't want to really deal with nobody i don't i just you know i i, I prefer to chill and not even be around them you know but you know I, I i'm cordial with them speak to them high you know talk a little whatever whatever with them you know what i'm saying but generally i kind of ease on on my way I, I try and get away from them as soon as i can I don't want to, you know, hold conversations with them because we don't have anything in common. And like I said, again, you know, you want to um, be circumspect to that, man. Um, you know, you don't have to talk to everybody. You know, the scripture says, love thy neighbor. Hey, I'm loving my neighbor. I'm trying to tell, I'm trying to put you on game and let you know what the scriptures is saying. So that's all the, hey, that's the most love a person can actually give you. It's a person telling you what the scripture says, what the Lord says, man. To try and keep you from being destroyed. So, but in general, I mean, you don't, you know, you don't have to just be kicking it with them every time you see them outside of the house, you know what I'm saying? You just say, hey, hey, how's it going, you know, whatever, and keep it moving, because like I said again, it, you're going to waste your time trying to, you know, the scripture says admonish them once, twice, you know, three times, whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But after that, you know, don't even talk with them no more. It's, it, it's not going to make no sense to because it'll just cause, you know, little contentions and strife and envy and whatever. Um, you know, just confrontations, aggravations, little stuff like that. So, I would say just, you know, um, if you've already spoken to somebody about the scriptures and they, they haven't gotten it, then just leave it alone, man. Just leave it alone. And, and you know, I'm take, I need to be taking my own advice right now because, you know, but like I said, you know, the scripture talks about how that word is shut up in you it, it just comes out of you man it just comes out of you you know what i'm saying and you can't help but but speak the word it's like a fire in you man it's nothing you know I, it's 
there's nothing I can do about it. When it comes out, it just comes out. <laughs> I mean, you know, but Jake done, done, done got all the warnings, man, that they, you know, they're, they're pretty much going to get, man. And it's going to come now where the Lord is about to start showing them, about to start showing them, start showing, you know, who he really is. And that the things that the men of the Lord are starting to have been bringing out, those things are going to come to pass. And then they're going to be like, you know, damn, he was saying that. But as of right now, they're not going to get it because they just feel like everything is just everything. You know, they can get up, jump in the car, go and shop and go and, you know, bullshit around and do whatever they're doing. And it's not really affecting them, so to speak. But I was telling him, you know, because he got two little twins. I think they're like seven years old. Like, you know, hey, man, you know, it would be it would be good. I mean, you know, if you hey, you might want to put you a little bit of extra food and stuff to the side. Because he's kind of like one of those people that's just constantly going out to eat, you know, and not, you know, actually putting the waste up, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know, hey, man, well, you, you might want to, um, I'm telling him about the famish that's coming. I'm telling him about the food shortages, the, the truck drivers, you know what I'm saying? Um, not being able to get diesel, not being able to get oil, you know, that the food services, you know, these, these, these um, distributors, they don't have anything for these truckers to do anymore. Because the, the, the food is gone, and you, you see a lot of those videos, you know, of truckers, they tell you, they putting you on game, they letting you know, hey, look, be prepared, so to speak. So, you know, I'm trying to put him on game, and he comparing me to <laughs> the, 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 the white boys that be riding on the bike. I'm like, okay, all right, well, you know, hey, I'm done with it, hey, you know what I'm saying? Scripture says, talk not much with a fool, because you're a fool, man, you know what I'm saying? I just, we just call them like we see them, man. I ain't, you know, I didn't mean to be offensive or nothing like that, but like I said again, man, the scriptures are offensive to a lot of people. They really are. Because they don't want that, that, that light to be shined on their darkness, you know? And I already knew, like, you know, yeah, this is a, a wicked nigga, man. To, to, you're going to pay your woman, you know, give her the money to go and get a damn abortion, and you bragging about it? And he didn't think nothing was wrong with that, you know? I'm just mentioning stuff, and he's like, oh, you know, I don't sin. I don't, maybe I, you know, I do nothing wrong, you know. But he's going to see <laughs> that the Lord sees otherwise. He's going to see that. It's eventually going to come, man. And, you know, we're not to be feeling sorry for him or any of that stuff, man. You know, we're just going to, we're going to laugh at the calamity, man. Because Jake be getting more than enough time or more than a, enough admonition, so to speak. We're telling them over and over and over again. How long do you think the Lord is going to be, you know, giving you that 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 time that time period? How long do you think he's, he's going to continue extending his hand and saying, "Hey, repent"? It's eventually going to come to a point where they're just going to have to see that the Lord is not playing no games, and they're going to see that the prophets was out there and that a prophet was before them and was telling them what was going on, man, before it happened. And so it is what it is with that, man. You know. I just wanted to just touch on that real quick, you know, but, um, like I said again, when you have those situations where you're explaining stuff to Jake and Jake don't get it, and then especially if they scoffing, you know, damn scoffers, they mocking, they doing, you know, talking all down on you and all that, hey, you don't have to waste no time with them, man, just let them know, to, hey, give them the scriptures and leave it alone from there, and, and matter of fact, knock the dust off your feet can't you can't make them get it man they're not gonna get it the only thing that they're gonna gonna see is that it was true but it's gonna be too late and it, it just is what it is with that so you know with that i pray that the lesson was edifying come yes shalom